Um, first, I would um, like you to uh, introduce some letters of support from businesses that were referred to by my colleague, um, Representative Jayapal. From, Without objection. Thank you. Um, Secretary Sue, I'd like to apologize for the tone and tenor of this hearing. I worry that we lose um, many great candidates for public office um, who simply see this kind of thing on television and are not willing to put their name up for, for this kind of um, a question. I, I truly believe that Americans want to see more civility and decency um, from their elected officials, but unfortunately I don't think we've I've seen a whole lot of that here today. Um, but I do want to step back a moment and talk a little bit about this joint employer or independent contractor rule. Um, there's been a lot of questioning without a lot of opportunity for you to complete an answer. Um, am I correct, first of all, that m many of, much of the case law that you referred to arose from the fact that the independent contractor classification was often being abused by employers, either to avoid payroll taxes, benefits, or, or other things. Yes, thank you so much for that question, Congresswoman. So thank you also for um, reminding us that the reason um, there is a rule is uh, that misclassification, uh, now this is not about ending bona fide independent contracting, it is about making sure that everybody plays by the same set of rules and that when someone should be an employee and therefore enjoy a century's worth of, of labor law protections, basic minimum wage, overtime, uh, unemployment insurance, safety net, workers' compensation, that they do get that. So. Um, to your, that's a long way of saying, um, yes, that there was, there has been litigation about this and that has created a body of case law about what the right test should be. And in fact, when there's abuse of the independent contractor classification, it's actually to the detriment of American workers, employees, or people who should be treated as employees, um, entitled to the benefits of that classification, correct? That is absolutely correct. Okay. So um, there was reference made to the fact that your family owned a franchise business, a pizza franchise, when you were growing up. So I, I assume from that that you have respect for the franchise model as a way for people to um, get started in business? Yes. Again, this is not an abstract issue for me, um, but it is also a way, and I've heard directly from franchisors about this, that it is a way that um, individuals, immigrant communities get a toehold into the middle class, and that is the story of my family. Okay, thank you. Um, so w w with regard to joint employer-related issues, um, it, there seems to be some confusion, at least among the questioners today, about who created that rule that is being objected to, and am I correct that it was a rule, a proposed rule put forth by the NLRB? Oh, yes. There, yes, there is another entire separate set of, um, of, of laws and rules um, that uh, fall under the National Labor Relations Board. And, and the NLRB is a separate and independent agency from Department of Labor. Is that correct? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Um, so this um, joint employer rule is not something that is on the Department of Labor's regulatory agenda. That is correct. And as such would not be something that falls under your jurisdiction as Secretary of Labor, is that correct? That is correct. Thank you. Um, and is it true that the only reason that the Department of Labor had to take action to rescind the rule was because a higher court instructed it to do so? Yes, thank you very much, Congresswoman. So um, there's two different things, right? One conversation we were having about the independent contractor rule, we've noticed a rule on that. The, sep the, the other thing that you're talking about is there was a joint employer rule of the prior administration that we had to rescind. Administration, you mean the Trump administration? Correct. Created a rule that a federal court determined was not a valid rule. Is that correct? That is correct. And instructed the Department of Labor to rescind that. I, I don't remember if there was a specific instruction, but we would not keep a rule in place that was not in compliance with federal law. Thank you very much. With that, I yield back.